You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements to your smile can make a big difference in your life. With us, we have America's orthodontist, Dr. Anne-Marie Gorsica. Dr. Gorsica, welcome to the program. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad you, you finally made it. I've been asking you to come on the show for at least two years, right? You finally made it over, so I appreciate it. Um, for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about your practice. Who's your typical patient? Well, my practice is located in Antioch, California, which is in the East Bay, about an hour from San Francisco. Okay. And we treat a broad range of patients, starting from age four with some functional shift problems in the primary dentition, baby teeth, okay. all the way up to age 84. 84 year olds are elderly getting... patients who have periodontal disease, periodontal problems that can be corrected by straightening crowded teeth. But 84 year olds are getting... That is correct. It's never too late for a beautiful smile. Okay, great. Now, you've written a book yes. for dentists about everything you do. Well, it's a marketing book that describes several of the things we do at Gorska Orthodontics and have done over the last 25 years. And I'm hoping that it will bring some joy to some dentists out there and some dental offices, but most especially to the dental patients that we treat. Okay, good. Now, for people just tuning in, uh, you know, I've seen these photos, and they are dramatic with just... And most of this was just orthodontics, right? That is correct. That, that I'm looking at. Um, you knew you wanted to be a dentist, I guess, or an orthodontist since you were in seventh grade. I think That's you correct, said. Randy. How, how does somebody know that at that Okay, age? let me tell you a story. I used to look like this. Okay. Oh, really? When I was in third grade, my teeth protruded profoundly. And it was because I sucked my thumb for a long time. And when I was in third grade, my general dentist said... I needed braces. So my general dentist actually was the first person who put braces on me. And I had my teeth straightened, but my bite still was not correct because it was only... She had like a big overbite. I had a big overjet in the horizontal direction. Okay. My front teeth were straight, but I still didn't look good. And when I was in seventh grade, a new orthodontist had moved to our community and invited me to come into his office to see what he could do for me. He changed my life. And he improved my smile, he corrected my bite, and I knew from that time I wanted to be an orthodontist. I just loved what he did, but more so, I just loved his whole office and his whole work environment. So I never uh, changed my mind after that. I just pursued my dream, and I'm living my dream here today with you. And, you, and you're convinced, by the way, I mean, you're changing mm -hmm. people's lives mm -hmm. by straightening their teeth. Definitely. Is that right? Definitely. And you call yourself, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but an orthodontic evangelist. That's correct, What does Randy. that mean to you? Anyone I can help by straightening their teeth, improving their smile, giving them more self-esteem, I try to reach out to them. And I usually use the phrase, have you ever thought of orthodontic treatment? And many people are not even aware what an orthodontist is or what orthodontic treatment really is all about. But it's mm -hmm. more than six straight front teeth. Orthodontic treatment changes your bite from an unhealthy bite to a healthy bite. It changes your face. It changes your profile. It changes your smile. And ultimately, it changes your state of mind. So let's start with this little girl. You say you had this kind of a problem. Yes, I did, from years of thumb sucking. Okay. And what happens is the teeth are protruded. They start getting spaces between them, and they stick out of the mouth so they're unprotected by the lips. Look at her profile, Randy. Look at her upper lip. It's a very sharp angle. The upper lip push is pushed out forward. Mm -hmm. But that can be corrected by retracting the teeth and the lip follows the teeth in that action. And then look at the final result. Wow. It's awesome. She is a beautiful, beautiful young lady. So just a few, few years later? Two years later, this patient's life has been transformed. How she so? is a confident young woman out to conquer the world. Randy, let me tell you what can happen if this is not treated and the teeth are not retracted. Okay. Teeth can be fractured by common accidents. If a little child with protrusive teeth falls down on the sidewalk, runs into a piece of furniture, slips, falls, it can be as simple as picking up a glass. They can fracture their front tooth very easily okay. when it's not protected. So what we did in this case was what we call phase one orthodontic treatment. It's orthodontic treatment on a young child, seven to nine years old, where we're basically fixing the front four teeth, putting them in the correct position, and then holding them there until years later when all the permanent teeth come in at age 12. 
you might be wondering how early can these problems be corrected. Yeah, okay. Here's a dramatic case of a young boy who initially came into my office at age five. He had a big discrepancy, a big change between his upper teeth and his lower teeth, a big overjet. And he had started kindergarten, mm -hmm. and the kids were bullying him, and he didn't want to go to school. Do you hear those stories, by the way, All the, 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 the parents tell you, or the, the, parents, the kids too? The parents and the children. And you may notice in your children, they may not tell you, but if they're quiet about school, they don't want to talk about school, or if they tell you they, they just don't want to go to school at all, they could be bullied at school. So this family came to me at age five with their son and asked, is there anything you can do to help our son with his overjet, with his problem? Mm -hmm. We said, yes, there is a solution. We will find a solution. We will correct it. And this is at five years old? At about. age seven, when his permanent first molars came in, we did a procedure on him, which is called an osseous distraction procedure of the lower jaw. It's a lengthening of the lower jaw. Okay. It was the first one done in Northern California. And basically what it is, is a tiny space is created in the lower jaw, a device is attached, which is advanced every day until the jaw is lengthened to the correct length. The reason it's done that way, Randy, is this is a dramatic change. If you look at the initial profile mm -hmm. to the final profile, and you're, you're extending not only the bone, but you have to lengthen the nerve, the muscle, the soft tissue, the skin, everything that goes with it. And that has to be done at a very gradual rate. So Randy, look at the before and after side face shot. Okay. You can see a big difference wow. in that lower jaw. Yeah. Also, look at the smile before and the smile after. You can tell in that first photo, that young man is struggling to smile. He doesn't want to smile. Mm -hmm. He's sad to smile. But in the end, he has a cheerful smile. You can see it in his eyes, and you can see that that smile comes from his heart. So we have changed his life. He's happy. He's ready to go back to school. He has lots of friends, and he's having a wonderful life. And at what, so at what age should a parent then, and I, you know, I have a 12-year-old, but at what, what age should they maybe get a, a consult? Should they see their pediatric dentist? Should they see an orthodontist? The American Association of Orthodontists and all orthodontists recommend that every child receive an orthodontic examination by age 7. If there is a situation where in the baby teeth the jaw is shifting and mm -hmm. there's a crossbite, anterior crossbite, posterior crossbite, shifting of the jaw, any discomfort whatsoever, the child should be brought in as early as age four because things can be done to fix the bite which will enable normal growth to occur. Okay, so when it's all done, what do the children say? Do they ever say anything? They are so thrilled. And the little kids run up to me and give me a big hug and say, thank you, Dr. Gorska, I'm so happy with my teeth. This little boy ran up to me, gave me a big hug, and said, thank you, Dr. Gorska, you've changed my life. I'm so happy. Really? Do a lot of kids say that? Yes, they all say it. They're all very happy. And the adults, too, especially the adults. Okay. Let me show you another case. All right, all right. Here's a young man. He came to me when he was 16 years old, and we had proposed an orthodontic treatment plan. He decided at that time only to straighten his teeth. Not with us, he went somewhere else. Okay. And we always tell our patients, you can always come back and do it right. So he came back at age 24, and look at the difference. This is tooth straightening alone versus comprehensive orthodontic treatment. The full... So that's what changed this guy's profile? That is correct. It is a full So he had kind analysis. of a weak looking chin before. That is correct. Because orthodontics is more than six straight front teeth. It's the whole face. But why is the chin coming out more? Is it an illusion? So the chin's the same place. It is, Help it, me understand it that. Is an, it is a reconstruction. Okay. It is, it's part of the orthodontic analysis. Okay. okay. And all of the bite, the face, the profile, all of that is taken into consideration with comprehensive orthodontic treatment. This man is a new man. He is the <laughs> handsomest guy in San Francisco, California, and he is loving it. So, yeah, it's a beautiful smile at the end. Yes. Now, let me tell you another story. Okay. Have you ever been in love at first sight? Yeah. Did you notice so. the person's teeth? I did. I did. And what if their teeth had looked like this? Okay. Yeah. Well, no matter what you say, when you have teeth like that, it is a personality teeth mismatch. 
And it's hard to fall in love at first sight with a person who Was has crowded teeth. Was she self-conscious over this? All people with crowded teeth are self-conscious of it. And it's a natural instinct when, when we want to see a beautiful smile and we don't. There's a little bit of a, a pullback, but that can be fixed through orthodontic treatment okay. so that you can have love at first sight. And when someone gives you a big smile, they go, wow. So her know. after? Yes. Very nice. Yes. And take a look at the teeth, the uh, teeth afterwards. It's a new person. So what does she say, by the way? She's thrilled. She's absolutely thrilled. She's a happy teenager in high school. On because, the... you know, those teenage years can be pretty tough mm -hmm. with people making fun of you or whatever, or especially if you don't like something about yourself. It's terrible. So they don't like, because I don't, I was lucky to have a, a you know, my, my teeth were straight. Mm -hmm. But are there a lot of kids that really hate their smiles? Well, people with crooked, crowded teeth tend not to smile as much as people with teeth that they're proud of. Okay. So this, the alignment is very important, and it definitely changes a person's personality. Nice. Okay. Okay. Here's another uh, dramatic case, and this is a case of open bite. And I show this case because I want to emphasize the point that y it is not possible to do every single case non-extraction. This is an example of secondary orthodontic treatment. I met this woman in the office. She brought her brother in for a retainer check. And she was sitting across the room, and I said kindly to her, have you ever thought of orthodontic treatment? And she said, I've already had orthodontic treatment. And I said, I can help you. I can fix this. But it's going to require so extractions. So open like the teeth are flared They're, forward a little bit? The on top teeth of are bottom? open at rest. They do not meet. So with an open bite, with the front teeth. So that is closed for them? That is closed. That is fully closed. Their back teeth are touching. Interesting. But their front teeth cannot touch. Okay. It's very hard to eat a sandwich when you have a bite like that. Open bite is the telltale sign of a case where teeth should have been extracted and they were not. Okay. So we see this a lot and we correct it a lot. And that's the message I want to get out uh, is that we can fix open bite through orthodontic treatment. It's a much prettier smile. Yes, and she's a beautiful woman. This changed her life. She got a boyfriend. She got married. She started a new career. She works in marketing, and she moved to Southern California. But you're an orthodontist. You probably think, at least it seems like, that the smile is probably the most important thing. It How is very important. How important is the smile, in your opinion? It is so important that it can affect who you date, who you marry, what type of job you get, and how readily you're promoted. And studies have found that. Is that right? Yes. So it's one of the most important things that you can fix health-wise to make a big difference on your personal life. So adult orthodontics, are there a lot of people getting a lot of very expensive veneers? Because that, mm -hmm. that's an effective treatment when you could have done the same thing with orthodontics? Like Invisalign or something else? Yes, well, mm -hmm. uh, orthodontics prepares a case for veneers. And orthodontics is done in many, many veneer cases. Uh, often the teeth can be straightened without veneers, and veneers are not necessary. None of these patients have had veneers, and okay. their teeth look fantastic. Let me show you another case. All right, all right. Here's another young woman. She came in. She was the mother of one of my patients. And she sat across the room, and I looked at her and said, have you ever thought of having orthodontic treatment? And she said, I've had orthodontic treatment. Now, her teeth are straight, but her bite still is not corrected. She has an open bite, and in this case, if you look at the uh, angle of her jaw, it's a very, very high angle of the bony structure. This needed correction. This patient thought she could not be helped. She thought this was caused by tongue thrust. But the tongue thrust... That were pushing her front that teeth That were putting out. her front teeth out. But the tongue thrust is actually the compensation for an open bite. It is the response to an open bite. So her mouth is closed right there. I mean, that her, is correct. She's trying to touch her teeth. Yes, yeah, she's trying and she cannot. And that this can be corrected easily with orthodontic treatment with the adjunct of uh, some orthognathic surgery. Okay, so the after, beautiful smile, obviously. Yes, and she's uh, very uh, successful, happy, and uh, smiling in our local community. So as the orthodontist, you work together with a team of like that old surgeons correct. or specialists that are going to get this... Yes, well yes. And let me show you another case. This is one of my favorite cases because it dramatically shows all the changes facially that can occur with orthodontic treatment. If you look at this initial face, mm -hmm. I call this my fairy tale case because <laughs> this young woman came in, she looked sad. 
Mm -hmm. Her cheeks were drawn, her eyes were drawn. You see the whites under her eyes. Her lips are open at rest. Her chin is puckered. And more so, she has a gummy smile. And it's a significant gummy smile, and her teeth are protruding. She was bothered by it? She was saddened by it. And she wanted to be happy, because in her heart, she was a happy person. So we said, we can fix this. It's going to take a little more than Botox to the upper lip but we can fix it permanently. Look at her face, look at her cheeks. Not wow. only is the gummy smile gone, but it's almost like she's had a facelift. Her cheeks are so cute and puffy. She's adorable. She met her husband, she got married, she has four children, and she actually works as my treatment coordinator now. Oh, she, she works with you now. Yes, so any patient who has questions about orthognathic surgery or braces, she's the perfect person to describe it to them. Now we talked on the phone and, and, and I think we thought, you know, I said there's no crystal ball, but you're convinced that, that when you get these people, that their lives become better mm -hmm. because of their teeth. Of Is course. it more so because of their self-esteem or they just look better or feel better about themselves? They look better, they feel better, they function better and they're healthier. Your teeth are the first entrance to your health, what you eat, uh, how healthy your periodontal health is. So it's all tied in with general dental health. Let okay. me show you another case. All right. Randy, it took a team to treat this case. And in our local community, we have a Seattle study club. We comprehensively treatment plan our cases with diagnostic setups, and we work as a team. And for world-class dentistry, that's what it takes. So in this case, this woman had maxillofacial facial oral surgery for a bone augmentation, implants, orthodontics, restorative dentistry. But she looks fabulous. She is in good health and functioning fantastically well. And it changed her life. Very nice. The treatment made this woman look so much younger. Yeah. And she was so happy and so appreciative that finally she had a great bite and a great smile. OK. Let me show you another case. Different topic, deep bite. Deep what is bite. a deep bite? I don't everyone know. thinks they have a deep bite, but they deep do? bite, yes. All, all, everyone who walks in the orthodontic office, they say, I have a deep bite. Is a deep bite an overbite? It is a vertical overlap of the upper teeth over the lower teeth. So this example illustrates that a hugely deep bite where the upper teeth are almost touching the lower gum. But what's wrong with that, by the way? Because it it's looks good in the, in the before smile. Very destructive, very destructive. And let me explain why. Over time, the teeth continue to erupt. The teeth miss each other, and they keep going down until they hit the gum. They start to push back the gum. The lower teeth hit the roof of the mouth and push back the gum. Then they start wearing away the backs of the upper front teeth. Eventually, you need crowns. And after that, you start wearing down your lower teeth. Interesting. So look at the before and after here, the beautiful mm -hmm. smile before, the beautiful smile afterwards, the teeth on the lip line. The smile looks beautiful, and this is functional occlusion. So you could see the lower teeth, you should whereas be, before you could. That is correct. So what do you do? Can you self-examine your kids, and if you they're smiling can. and you can't see their lower teeth? They have a deep bite. They and need to go in. How fast can orthodontic treatment be accomplished? All right. No one does orthodontic treatment faster than an orthodontist. And this next case shows that. Okay. This case actually took two months and two days for us to prepare those teeth for veneers. And to do that, you may be surprised. The patient actually had metal brackets with a metal wire. And why is that, Randy? Why is that? Because the fastest surface out there is polished metal. It is not clear brackets, and it's not nickel titanium tooth colored wires. So if you want it done fast, you've got to go. You've got to go with metal brackets. So two months metal, for this. Metal braces. And let me illustrate another point. You need self ligating brackets. Brackets okay. that do not have elastic ties. I want you to feel this. This is a self ligating bracket. Okay. So put that so wire So this in is there. just a big version of what it is. That's like. an orthodontic okay. bracket. All right. It has a window that closes up and down okay. so that the wire can slide through like a bullet in a rifle barrel. All right. It slides through fast. Okay. When you put the elastic on, like a clear elastic, you're adding friction to the system and you're actually slowing down the process of orthodontic tooth movement. So that's a misconception and a myth that's out there in the public that clear brackets are the fastest brackets. They are indeed the slowest brackets because they have tiny uh, catches that catch the wire and slow down the process. There is a new technology that orthodontists are offering now. It's called Excelident. This is it. 
This can cut your orthodontic treatment time in half, whether you're doing Invisalign, braces. This technology recruits uh, osteoblasts, osteoclasts. It makes the rate of orthodontic tooth movement proceed twice as fast. Okay. And this is a scientific method that can be used to speed up your orthodontic treatment. So if you want the fastest treatment possible, be sure to go to an orthodontist. Randy, there are probably a lot of women watching this show right now thinking, okay. gee, I wish my boyfriend would do orthodontic treatment, or okay. I wish my husband would do orthodontic treatment. Most men are brought in by their wives or their girlfriends. Is that right? And 40% of orthodontic treatment right now in the United States is being done on men. Okay. This is the typical orthodontic case of a male patient. It's the 45-year-old businessman brought in by his wife or by his girlfriend to get his teeth straightened. So in this case, this gentleman had crooked teeth, a deep bite, and we broadened the arch, we corrected the alignment, we gave him a broad smile, we gave him a bright smile. How early can someone start orthodontic treatment? We talked about it a little bit, but this little girl... Do you girl, have to wait until the, all the teeth are permanent, no, like your adult teeth? No, you okay. do not. There are several stages at which you can start orthodontic treatment. The earliest stage would be with the baby teeth. And if there is a functional shift where the jaw moves to one side or the other, as in this case of this okay. little girl who had a crossbite in the posterior, in the back of her teeth, this should be treated as soon as possible because narrowing of the upper arch not only affects the bite and the shifting of the jaw and the growth of the jaws, but it also affects your nasal passages. And someone with a narrow upper arch How old is this girl, four, like four or five years old? Four, four or five years old. Years old um, not only does, do the teeth affect your bite, it can affect your breathing, it can affect your sleeping, and ultimately it affects your ability to learn at school if you're tired at school. Okay. So arch expansion in young children is very, very important for the correction of sleep apnea. Is it braces or retainers? Or? In this case, we did an expander. We don't put braces on baby teeth. We never put braces on okay. baby teeth. Okay. We use removable expanders to ex broaden the arches. Yeah, looks nice. Thank you. And parents, so if they see the teeth not coming together just right, they need to go see. If they're at their child's four-year-old birthday party and they see that something is not quite right, that child smiles and they see their jaw going to the side, forward, backwards, they should bring that patient in to see the orthodontist as soon as possible. Okay, good. I wanted to ask you this question. I know we're, we're almost out of time, but it seems like the lower teeth with older people, see, it happened to me, they start to shift. Why is that? The reason is, Randy, that the lower teeth have the smallest contact point between them. And there is a natural biologic process called mesial drift, right. where teeth drift to the middle until they touch. If your contact is broken, your teeth continue to shift, and it's in every human being. That's why it's so important, if you've had orthodontic treatment, that you wear your retainers for life. Some adult patients prefer to have permanent retainers, so they don't have to worry about retainers. And it's important to keep your teeth straight. It seems like when you're older, the lower teeth show the most. They do. They do. And it's because our lips tend to head south a little bit. Okay. And our smiles change our, as we age. And I think adults are more conscientious of crowded teeth as they get older. What may have not bothered them at age 17, they start looking in the mirror a little closer at at age 40. And everyone wants to feel good and look good when they're 40. We're out of time. Final message. Somebody watching this, they want wider, straighter teeth. I think you said that that's one of the things everybody wants. What do you say to them? But for whatever reason, they're putting it off. Well, what I would say is at any age, don't hesitate getting orthodontic treatment. When it comes to straight teeth, braces, retainers, or Invisalign, an orthodontist is the smart choice. And most orthodontists are happy to see new patients. The consultations are usually complimentary. And there's much that can be done to improve your teeth at any age. You do a lot of Invisalign. We do a lot so of you, Invisalign. Are you of the opinion that, you know, if you're going to get Invisalign, might as well go to an orthodontist? Does it cost more to go to an orthodontist to get Invisalign? No, it does not cost more to go to an orthodontist. And orthodontists are vastly experienced. It's like, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Okay. <laughs> I can hand you a violin. But if you don't have the training to learn how to play that instrument, you're not going to get to Carnegie Hall. Orthodontists have had intense study, which has lasted two to three years, with the best mentors that are out there, 
board certified orthodontists. Being board certified means something. We go in front of our peers, we show our cases, and orthodontics is not subjective. It is objective. We have measurements. We can measure a case and give a score, whether that's an excellent case or a very poorly treated so case. So only a board certified orthodontist will have this type of judging. The is board certification process is very rigorous. Okay. And it really teaches orthodontists to have a keen eye. Not every orthodontist is going to be the same. Some orthodontists are going to see certain things that others will not see. In my particular case, you've probably picked up that we do a lot of orthodontic surgeries. I'm one of yeah. the biggest practices in Northern California. I have patients driving two and a half hours to my office for orthodontic surgery. Are you a perfectionist, by the way? Very much so. Very much so. And we, we, uh, our office is focused on clinical excellence, outstanding customer service, and a great patient experience and we really give it our all. So we hope people will come to see us in Antioch, California. Great, I wanna thank you for coming on the show. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. And, and I did, we, we practically begged you to get in here for two years, so I'm glad <laughs> you finally made it. Thanks, Randy. And uh, if I lived in your area, you'd be my orthodox. Thank so you, I thank appreciate you very much. that very much. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online, just go to our website, put in orthodontist, and you'll find her there. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.